not here, the founder of autogrow.co, as you may already know. Currently day 5,000 here in the coronavirus quarantine. Uh, no, just kidding. Uh, I think it's been about, what, three, four weeks here in New York since they uh, said lockdown, whatever. Um, so anyway, today we're talking about lead magnets, all right? And specifically the problem around lead magnets that my team and I want to help solve for you with this video and the article, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be linked below, uh, is giving you just stupid smart tips, nine stupid smart tips to help you to learn how to grow your downloads. In other words, grow your overall volume or, and or conversion rate uh, for getting more opt-ins. Now, when th this is for people who you might have probably one of two goals, depending on your business. You either want to grow your audience or you want to grow the number of people who are downloading, opting in to get your lead magnet as an indirect way, as kind of like, you know, getting people into the funnel, a step towards actually buying from you. But the problem is that you may be uncertain of, you know, what lead magnet you should pick. You might kind of be overanalyzing it in your head, like, oh, should I go with this idea or this idea? And what if you get it wrong? And then you've invested all this time and then, okay, we have to try something else. And sometimes things are going to be like that, you know, that's, that's okay. But what I want to do in this video is I actually want to give you my top tip for how to pick uh, a better lead magnet idea, whether you already have one that's converting well, or you're just getting started and you're looking for a new lead magnet that you can launch, that you can test quickly, and that's going to get you better results than you might be getting right now. So. Again, there's, there's two different needs out there depending on your business and your goals. Do you wanna build an audience or do you want to grow sales? Okay, everyone is gonna say, yeah, Matt, I wanna grow sales, but you know, really think about it. You know, because some people, you know, depending on where your business is at, you just wanna grow and grow your audience because you recognize that the bigger your audience, the more that you can facilitate word of mouth, for example. Uh, because a lot of those people won't ever buy from you, but you know, it puts out good will into your niche, into your community, and that can come back to you in the form of referrals, for example, and more traffic, right? But a lot of businesses aren't at that stage. And instead it's more about, okay, like I need a lead magnet that's going to indirectly get people into the funnel and indirectly grow sales, right? So how do you do that? How do you select an ideal lead magnet idea that's going to accomplish that for you, that's gonna grow your bottom line? Well, I want to talk about a couple of examples um, after I share with you this, but I think it's an amazing tip, all right? So here's the tip. What you want your lead magnet to accomplish is you want your lead magnet to give value, right? That's the whole magnetic idea behind it, right? You know, you offer something of value and people recognizing that value are going to be willing to trust you enough to give their email address, give you and trust you with their contact information or to get that which you are offering, okay? Um, that's obvious, but you also wanna think strategically about it. In other words, how do I craft this lead magnet offer, this lead magnet in a way that is going to almost create the need for what it is I'm looking to sell, whether you're selling a SaaS products, uh, or whether you're selling some sort of high ticket service. Now, let me give an example of what I mean. Because it is possible to create a lead magnet where it really just highlights the pain point that your product or service is looking to solve. But there are some better ways to do it than others. Let me give you this example from lead pages, for, for instance. So lead pages, when they were scaling to tens of millions of dollars in revenue, they, they came out with lead magnets that were, uh, for example, templates of landing pages that were actually in their software. And you might think, okay, that's kind of counterintuitive. Like, why are you giving away something that's for free that's you know, part of your app? You can kind of look up the term uh, product splinter or service slice if you wanna learn more about 
that kind of idea or strategy because it's kind of similar to this concept. Uh, Google auto grow product splinter or auto grow service slice um, because that's kind of what they did here except they didn't sell it. They gave it away as a lead magnet. They gave away these templates. So for example, me actually becoming later a customer of lead pages, I, I looked at this video and they said, hey, check out this free landing page template. Click the button right below right now to get it. And so I did. And, but here's, here's the catch. It, it is valuable by itself, but it helps to highlight or create that, that need. You know what I mean? Because in this case, it was, it was code. It was HTML code and all the image files and all that stuff. So in order to use it, you had to have development skills. And even if you did, you still had to spend the time to implement that HTML landing page onto your server, onto your website, into your WordPress. But that's what their product could do, is it could cut out all of that time because all you have to do is set it up and you know, in order to create and modify your landing pages, no need to get into the code, no need to hire a developer. You could do it all yourself right through their application. But that's the need that their lead magnet helped to create. It was valuable by itself, but it was also showing you and reminding you, hey, you can use this, but the, the little bit of pain kind of involved in actually uh, realizing the value that it gives, well, that helps to create, that, that's part of the need of the product in the first place. Here's another example from one of our clients uh, called the Printmaker System. Uh, Chris, awesome guy, um, awesome entrepreneur. His business was in the niche of professional photographers. And he came out with, uh, his SaaS business offers a piece of software that helps photographers to increase their sales by selling to you know, instead of itty bitty clients, you know, bigger and bigger uh, sales and, and offering a kind of software around, you know, education plus software to help them to accomplish that goal, right? So his lead magnet that we helped him to reposition and, and recreate, we called it the uh, pro photographers, less work, bigger sales checklist. So checklist is kind of another tactic uh, that you can use. Checklists are easy, simple. They're seen as kind of a low investment type of thing and they usually convert pretty well because it's just, you know, you can skim it, scan it and get something, get something useful from it. So it's low commitment. It's not like a seven day course that you have to opt into and pay attention to the emails every day. It's bigger commitment involved with that. So you'll often get a lower conversion rate as a result in, in most cases for something like that but I digress. With Chris's lead magnet for the less work, bigger sales checklist, what was offered there in, in terms of what was actually given to people, it, sh it showed them, it was, it, was, it was kind of smart and kind of subtle, but also clever in a way because very similar to lead pages, for example, uh, it created the need for his product because it, it would, talk about it sort of from the view of as if you were using the software and it would even show screenshots in some cases of the software. So it made you say, okay, well, I could technically kind of still do this offline using paper, pencil, or, you know, a spreadsheet, but actually the printmaker system looks really good. Maybe I should just go sign up for a free trial for that. See what I mean? In terms of services, you can do this very similar thing. Um, our, one of our most popular lead magnets has consistently been our sales funnel checklist. And in a similar way, you know, we show, and I think what we could actually do better if I was to recreate that right now, and actually I want to kind of go tell our designer copywriter to put this in there, is number one, show, we show the items that you need to have a successful sales funnel. All, you know, all the critical stages and steps and components we break it down, but then we also, uh, what we could do to make it better is we could even say, okay, again, to kind of like, like in copywriting, they, they, they say that, and this is kind of a proven formula that we've used again and again and again, you know, we talk about the problem first, right? So copywriters, they like to say, stick the knife in and then twist it. In other words, you state the problem, describe it, 
but then you agitate it, you agitate it. So in other words, a, a lead magnet uh, that's effective in this case is really good at kind of agitating the pain while simultaneously giving value, okay? Because it, it really helps in, an, in, a, in a very subtle way to, um, to highlight that pain and to remind people, hey, well, the same company that gave you this lead magnet can actually you know, help you save time or realize you know, the solution a lot faster because they have a tool, they have a service, whatever it is that you're offering. Same way with, uh, with AutoGrow and our sales funnel checklist, for instance, you know, because our value proposition to our clients is watch your digital marketing projects get done. You know, clients log in, they either create a, a custom you know, project or task brief, hit submit, and like magic, they can watch it get done. And our team just goes to work on it. You know, whether it's something complex like a whole sales funnel or something as simple as tweaking a website, tweaking um, your existing landing page, emails, copywriting, anything like that. Um, but again, you know, you get this checklist, you see, okay, I got to do all these, these things, or I could just sign up for the solution over here and save all this time, uh, money or grow my business, whatever your value proposition is, right? All right. So that's the tip. You want not just to give value, but you want that value in a way to actually work towards highlighting the pain point that your product, service, solution provides to your customers and clients. Okay, got it, good. All right, so what I want you to do right now is if you uh, are a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're in a marketing department, go ahead over to AutoGrow if you wanna save time, just kinda of like I was just highlighting, and check out what we have to offer because we can save you a ton of time. You don't have to do it yourself, all right? And we can really just help you to make your marketing ideas real and save yourself a ton of time and get it done faster and better than if you actually signed up or rather if you actually didn't sign up and tried to do it on your own, all right? And if you're more of the do-it-yourself type, if you're on a tight budget, I understand, uh, go to autogrow.co forward slash products and you can check out some of our online trainings, okay? So you can get all of our trainings uh, there. You can buy them individually or sign up for our hero package and all of those are actually included for one flat fee, okay? All right, until next time, keep converting, stay focused. I'll talk to you soon.